This is Tokyo's 24 hour subway ticket. And for the next 20 hours or so, I'm gonna ride as many of Tokyo's subway stations as I can. So for every video I'm doing for this Japan trip, there's a challenge I have to complete. For today's challenge, I'm not gonna be spinning the wheel because it's a little bit of a unique situation on the subways here. Because making noise on the subway in Japan is considered to be rude. My challenge for today is to make a new friend without using any words at all. So I can't talk, I can't use written words like on my phone or anything. I wanted to get this challenge over with as soon as possible. So I attempted to do so entering the first train of the day. The subway is not just a transportation system. It is a destination. I've been spending this morning doing some work on my computer, meditating and energy bending, which is like my own version of Tai Chi or way to move energy. I feel like there is so much energy in this huge bustling subway system that I can draw off of. To be in this foreign country, like Japan, where even the rules of the subway are so different, so unique. And to be in the city like Tokyo, to have the opportunity to see people from all different walks of life. Like in Japanese cities, everyone takes the subway. Everyone takes the subway. The 24 hour subway pass cost me 600 yen. So for the price of five US dollars, I can spend the day fully immersing myself in the energy of Tokyo. I mention how awesome it is that each subway station has its own little tune that it rings out. It made me feel like I was playing an old Mario Nintendo version of Subway Surfer where I pick up gold coins from each subway station. so busy dancing that I didn't even realize that I cycled through three different subway lines on one train. It took me all the way to another city. I'm technically in Yokohama, so gotta roll on the other way. Folks, it's the end of a very long day. In total, I covered 251 different subway stops. But actual, the total number of subway stops, including like the repeat subway stops that I covered was, I'd say close to probably double that. 
but it was truly an amazing way to immerse myself in the underbelly of Tokyo. Comparing Tokyo to a swimming pool, after this challenge, I felt like I dove right in and swam to each of the deepest corners of this giant metropolis. It was really cool to get a glimpse into the windows of people's normal lives here. For example, this evening I was sitting next to this gentleman flipping through this like manga comic on his phone. He was just whipping at lightning speed and it's such a kind of rich little experience in and of itself. It was awesome just to have culturally rich little experiences like that surrounding me for 20 hours straight. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe and join me on for the rest of my Japan journey. On the next episode of my on the ground Japan tour, I found my very own Mr. Miyagi and he's totally awesome.